you know, the cool thing here is that what if you have a deal and you feed the information about, let's say, Grandpa Joe, right? He wants to exit a property, but he also wants to have a little cash flow. So maybe you're going to have him, you know, hold a note, right? You can actually have ChatGPT, you know, structure a deal for you. In terms of like what we should expect from AI, and again, this is changing rapidly, so we're not going to hold you to this, but so what should a person expect from artificial intelligence? I guess in the case of, say, if you're using ChatGPT, you're trying to analyze a deal or any of these other previous real estate uses we mentioned earlier, at what point should they say, no, AI should be able to do more for me. I'm going to keep pushing it and see what it can do versus let's just not go there. Like it's unreasonable to expect a computer to solve my problems here. I need to step in and do this myself. Any ideas on like where that line currently is or where it ought to be? Yeah, that's a great question. I think AI, we're going to just continually see it evolve, right? And we're going to see it in the workplace. We're going to see it in investing. And essentially, you know, the companies that are able to make use of the technology to actually get a customer or client a specific outcome are going to be able to perform well and they're going to be able to grow their businesses. So we're seeing a you know ton of innovation in this space and quickly. And like anything else, the cream's going to rise to the top, right? And so those companies that are pushing the envelope that are creating a quality product are going to be able to win and help people like investors. And the great thing about, I think for us as real estate investors is we haven't really seen anything very specific yet. So RE tips your community, hey, if you have some great idea of how to leverage AI, right? And really build on top of a platform, you could go out there right now. I think it's the wild west in terms of stake your claim, right? And be able to build something that could be, you know, massively successful over the next few years. And so it's a very unique opportunity for entrepreneurs I think specifically in real estate, but of course across the board as well. Going forward in the future, what, what I see and where I kind of get excited is the integration of AI and virtual environments. So I don't know if you guys saw, but you know, Apple just released their headset and of course yeah. it's way too expensive to buy right now. It's like 3,500 bucks or whatever it is. But the implications of that is that, you know, we're still moving this direction. And so AR is augmented reality, which means that you're not necessarily you know, in a complete virtual environment, you're in an augmented reality, meaning that you could wear a headset or in the future, ideally just a pair of glasses, right? Where you're observing your physical world, but you're getting digital elements integrated. So imagine if you're a real estate investor, right? You're going to walk a property and it's giving you like all the specifics, like the tax history, all the different elements of the build. And it's telling you grandma Josephine died here. You know, it has everything that you could think of, right? And it's just, give, it's just feeding it to you through visual visual cues and it's pointing it out to you and you're not even having to ask it. It's just information at your fingertips. You know, that's where we're going. The technology is such where there's things like LiDAR and Nerf technologies where you can just literally look at things and it's going to be mapping things 3D and then you're going to be able to go back and record those and then go back and rewalk it later. So you don't have to already. We're at the point where you can go in and, you know, view properties and, you know, I think, you know, zoom around, right? There's some 3D technologies that are interesting. They're not perfect, but there's going to come a point very soon where you can literally just walk a property right and it's almost like you're there and so that's where i think it's it's pretty exciting where ai is going to be able to push the envelope for vr and ar in that space and then you know as investors i think we're going to be able to really again access to more data quicker better and faster and so the people that adopt this and that see this coming i think are going to be the ones that are going to ultimately be able to do better. One of the things I really learned early on as a real estate investor was that like, you have to be able to execute and execute quickly and for good or for bad, right? Things are going to even accelerate even quicker now. And so you're going to have to be on the ball. But if you're using this technology and you're on the forefront, you know, be able to execute quicker than everyone else. And uh, I think that's really the key of keeping AI in the back of your head. Just keeping, see what's going on. There's an AI for that.com occasionally and just kind of seeing what's out there and being like, all right, let me do a search for real estate and then seeing what's available. And again, if you don't see something, you know, you can piece together different things. Like we were talking about using ChatGPT with the PDF prompts. You can use different AI plugins to parse MLS data. You can, you know, Ajay was talking about you know, using like the text, right? To creative content or this very specific content. We're going to be seeing the avatars. We're going to be seeing the text, the voice come out and just have a much, I think, more engaging interaction with our prospects.
And ideally, you know, the cool thing here is that what if you have a deal and you feed the information about, let's say, Grandpa Joe, right? He wants to exit a property, but he also wants to have a little cash flow. So maybe you're going to have him, you know, hold a note, right? You can actually have ChatGPT, you know, structure a deal for you and say, hey, these are all the requirements. How can I structure this so that Grandpa Joe feels taken care of? I'm making out, you know, decently as an investor. And it's creative enough that it can actually create that structure. So to, to your point, Seth, I think the sky's the limit in terms of you know what we can do with this technology but we have to also you know have some creativity and then be very specific on what the outcome is that we want to create and then from there yeah i think i think it's fun and i think it's a i think it's a value add in the long term